Good day. Are you accepting a request? Oh my, you've already fulfilled the requirements. Marvelous. Marvelous. By all means. Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Registering, I see. Is overriding all registered. Is overriding except I've completed registration. Is overriding if I've completed registration. Will you register it to the I've completed registration? You register it all registered. Please take a look. Please take a look. Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look
counting on you. I'm gonna think of it. Much obliged. Good to see you. Uh-huh. Got some new things in stock. Check it out, if you've got the time. Hmm? You can come back soon. Welcome. <laughs> what? Which one? You've come at a good time. There are some new items you can create. You seem different somehow. It's like you're all grown up now. I guess that just goes to show you've been carrying a heavy burden all this time. You're a good kid. What would you like? You're sure about this, right? Did you change your mind? Is that all you need? Hope to see you soon. Kiyoshi-san's grandmother. Good afternoon. Oh, you're those nice students from before. Hello there. You have great timing. I was just hoping to run into you two again. The truth is, Mitron's disappeared again. Oh, so it's a recurring problem. Don't worry, though. At least this time, we have an idea of where to find her. No, that's all right. I believe that this time, Michan went in search of something. In search of something? When cats feel that their life is nearly over, they look for a place to wait for the end. Isn't that what they say? Wait, but what about... It's okay. Michan even came to say goodbye to me before she left. So... I don't think I'll need you to find her anymore. Miss. Besides, it's more or less the same for me. My day will eventually come too. And when it does... I hope I can rest in peace without making trouble for anyone else. <sighs> oh, I'm so sorry, but I did want to make sure I thanked you two again. It was nice to see you. Well, good day. Wait, Miss, um... Alone. I'm certain of it. <laughs> yes, you're right. 
No one is ever truly alone. Not as long as they continue to live in this world. See? I have the company of a fine young lady such as yourself. <sighs> Bless you, dear girl. You have a kind heart. See you later. Kiyoshi-san said that people live to be happy. Was Michan-san happy? Was Michan-san grateful to have been born? For what purpose was Michan-san born? Life. Where does it originate? Where does it go? What reason does life have to exist? Living means connecting with others. All life eventually ends. Parting seems to be a natural and inevitable aspect of life. An unavoidable end. Life is cruel. I wonder, will I too someday have to part with you forever? <sighs> I do want to live, but that's not the only thing. I... It's not just about becoming more human. It's about you. Being with you. What... What is this feeling? What do I want to do? For getting upset. I'm going to head back. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. I suppose. That reminds me. All right. Yeah.
Oh. Yes. The wind is calm today. I don't detect the usual scent of the sea. I'm sorry about the other day. I think my heart is growing closer to that of a human. But because of that, I've realized something. The heart and body are inseparable. A human heart can only function properly within a human body. Um, have you ever come here alone with someone else before? Perhaps you gazed out at the view together and spoke quietly. Oh, I didn't mean to pry. I was just curious. What? But I'm only shaped like a human. And besides, I'm a machine. <sighs> Actually, I've been a little worried. At school, I am seen as a human girl. I was concerned that if I stayed too close to you, it could cause a misunderstanding. If that is the case, please tell me right away. I wouldn't want to prevent you from becoming closer to another person. <sighs> the view from up here is beautiful. That must be why I sometimes see couples alone up here after school. They might be leaning against one another, or embracing. I never gave it a second thought before, but lately, it pains me to see them. I think I've come to realize that this is the kind of connection I can never have. As my heart grows more and more human, it only becomes clearer how much sets us apart. Just because my heart is developing, doesn't mean I can actually become human. I've known this since the beginning, yet... I'm sorry. I lost control of myself again. But I still care about you, and that won't ever change, no matter what happens. Even I find it strange. Why do I feel this way? Why are you so important to me? This is... love? <sighs> oh, so that's it. I finally understand. I have another wish. One just as important as my desire to live. But I know that this is something that I can never have. Let's go home. Welcome back. Um... By the way... Um, oh! Hmm... What? Huh. My thumb's getting a little greener every day, don't you think? For an amateur vegetable patch, it's really coming along. 
All that back breaking work was worth it. Listen, you hear that? That's the sound of our precious little veggies cheering us on. Right? They're kind of growing on me. And this might actually be my calling. Maybe I should just ride this wave and start a farm or something. It's really cool how well they respond if you take care of them right. It's one of those times where you see the fruits of your labor after lots of slow, steady work. I never followed through on anything, and even I pulled it off. That counts for something, right? <laughs> I thought I was the one raising them. Maybe they were raising me all along. Wait, did real, actual wisdom just come out of me? Holy crap, I grew up more than I thought. We owe a lot to our nutritious little veggie babies. Ah, who am I kidding? Our veggie mentors. Well, whatever we do in life, we can't expect to hit a home run on the first swing. We gotta stay on our toes and wait for the perfect chance to strike. And when that time comes, you knock it out of the park. That's how the real sluggers do it. A valuable lesson straight from our vegetable teachers. Don't go forgetting it, you hear? Maybe I'm finally figuring this whole life thing out, huh? You know, I think I'll write a book. I could call it something like Life's a Vegetable Garden, the Junpei Yuri story. Selling books and vegetables? Ooh, we're gonna be rolling it though. Man, am I a genius or what? All right, enough dreaming. Let's get a little bit more work done. Woo! We did a heck of a job. See you later, my darling veggies. I'll be back again when I'm free. Well, let's call it a night. Hit me up again when you have some time. back.
You know what? Yep, yep. Let's begin, shall we? I'm not going to say much, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. After you graduate, are you planning on going to college or getting a job? I see. Well, if you've already thought about it and made your choice, then there's nothing else for me to say. What's most important is that the decision is yours, and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then, you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But, to be honest, I'm not that worried about you. You've really matured over this last year. In fact, you've changed so much, I almost don't even recognize you. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful third year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Oh, the next one up for career consultation? That'd be Igasan. She was just here a second ago, but I guess she went out. Maybe she's on the roof? I've seen her go up there alone every now and then. Sure. Good luck. So do you think she's gonna go to college or get a job? She's full of mysteries, isn't she? She's changed recently, though, don't you think? Like her expressions and stuff. Again with that? You ever gonna stop thinking about hitting on girls? I don't mean it like that. All I'm saying is... I realized something. When I fought Ryoji-kun that night, I got... really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and ashamed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. In the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But ever since I decided to live for myself, 
No one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. But there's one thing that I do understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But I... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer. And I think I can if I'm with you. So please, please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with everything I have. Please. <sighs> Thank you.
Kong. Thank you very much. Isn't it interesting how the sunlight on a clear winter day seems stronger than it is during the summer? Perhaps it's because the sun is lower in the sky, and you don't have to look up to see it. I've gotten so used to this view, but no two times is it ever exactly the same. You could say the same thing about one's day to day, and to each life as well. The promised day is almost here. January 31st. Whenever I come up here, I get lost in my thoughts. I can't let it end like this. I want to protect it all. Thoughts like that. Since last time, I've tried thinking things through more rationally. I thought about that old lady and Michan-san. And Kiyoshi-san as well. I wonder if Michan-san was alone until the moment of her death. Somewhere no one could find her. I think the old lady wanted to be there for her at the end. To live means to be connected to other people. But life is finite. Farewells are unavoidable. It's sad to think about. But you and I will have to part one day as well. And then... We'll never be able to see you again. There are so many things in life I don't understand. It's filled with so much pain. You meet others, forge relationships, and spend time with them. And then... they're gone. Leaving you behind. Leaving you alone. <sighs> when I think about that, I just can't hold back my feelings. But I understand now. That's just how it is. No two views are alike. No two days are the same. It's natural for everything to disappear, re-emerge, and constantly change. Life is both short and finite. That's what makes it so invaluable, and why one feels that it must be cherished. When you think about it, it's a miracle that two given people are able to ever meet in this chaotic flow of time and space. I believe that's why we find happiness in forging bonds and relationships with others. And that might be the true joy of being alive. It can be sad, but at the same time so warm. Beautiful because it is destined to end. And that's why... I mustn't hesitate any longer. I need to tell you, even if this wish of mine is to never come true, I still want to tell you my true feelings. <sighs> um, I... I... love you. I know I'm a machine. I know that I cannot truly touch you as a human. But I can't help it. All I can see or think about is you. I love you so much that I feel like I'm going to break down somehow. Something really has broken inside of me. I feel so happy. Oh, 
Um... Hey! Salut. Please. Hey there. Um... I think... Worry. The shells on the floor are only blanks. There's no gunpowder in them. So, what do you think of my room? Are you surprised? To be honest, I was hesitant to invite you here. I don't have any welcoming decorations to make this feel like a home. It's hard to believe I ever thought this room was normal. But that's exactly why I wanted to show it to you. As you can see from the decor, I'm a machine. I'll never be the same as humans like Yukari-san or Mitsuru-san. It used to bother me, but I figured something out. There's something only I can say, because I am unable to die. I will never leave you, no matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be by your side. You will always remain in my heart. Oh, yes. Um, will you take this? That's one of my parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I've grown since then. I'm not afraid, and I won't give up. I'll get back up, no matter how many times it takes. I'll fight by your side and protect you. This is the proof of my resolve, and I want you to have it. It's a part of me. If living is about spending time with people you've forged relationships with, then I want to be closer to you than anyone else. 
connection to you is my reason for living. What's most important to me is to be by your side. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Eon Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Eon within thyself. actually have one more favor to ask. At the base of my neck, behind the knot of my ribbon, that's where my most important component is. The artificial psyche that makes me who I am, my emotional engine. The papillon heart, it's extremely delicate, and I'm not allowed to expose it outside of the laboratory's clean room. But I want you to touch it. If you make direct contact with it, your genetic information will most likely be burnt into it. Even so, I want you to do it. I want to leave irrefutable proof on my body of our connection, not just as a simple memory, but as something permanent, something that can never be erased. Thank you. I'm so glad. Please, come closer. Oh, um, since you'll be coming into direct contact with my heart, um, I apologize in advance if I say something odd or make unusual noises. For safety, I'll be shutting off the motor functions to my arms and legs. Well then, um, will you... Untie my ribbon? my request. you like so what would you like so what will it what would you like what would you like we have some new items prepared come take a look so what will it be so what will it be what would you like? You gotta tell no. What would you like? I never felt like. So, what will it be? So, what will it be? You gotta tell no. 
You're sure about Here, it's all yours. Everything good? Hope to see you soon. Good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. I won't insist you do anything, but it'd be greatly appreciated. You've discovered every social link and formed strong bonds with them all. For you to have possessed this many bonds, you must have donned numerous faces. With such an extraordinary propensity for change, perhaps you may be able to harness a greater power. The power of infinity. Take this with you. I do believe you are now capable of summoning a particular persona. But what persona shall be born of your bonds? I look forward to seeing it myself. Registering personas is overriding all registered. Now then. Please choose the personas you would like to fuse. Well then, shall we take a look? I have you all the elements you need. would be a wise choice. Persona. This one is somewhat beneath. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive an immense amount of... It's finally time. Too, of you, 
all the elements you need? This persona is powerful. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive an immense amount of power. <laughs> A new power emerges. Choose the personas you would like well then. Shall we take a look? This is your progress so far. Are you finished? We look 